Welcome to our Hong Kong Brief program. Today, we're diving into some exciting stories that are making waves in Hong Kong. First up, South African coach Chansey Cook is on a mission to revolutionize HKFC football, despite facing a rocky start. With dreams of coaching Newcastle United, he's determined to nurture young talent and bring competitive spirit to the club. Next, we have some serious weather news as Super Typhoon Inching approaches Hong Kong, leading to the cancellation of the New World Harbor Race 2024. Safety is the top priority, and swimmers are being advised to stay safe as the storm looms closer. Finally, we're discussing the rising tensions between nuclear powers, as recent developments involving Russia and North Korea have sparked global concerns. The concept of nuclear deterrence is being challenged, emphasizing the need for dialogue and understanding to resolve underlying conflicts. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. South China Morning Post, Chansey Cook, a determined South African football coach, is taking on the challenge of leading the HKFC team in a bid to professionalize their operations and make a mark in the Hong Kong Premier League. With a unique coaching journey that began with a six-day boat trip to an isolated island and included stints in China and Taiwan, Cook has a wealth of experience despite not being a household name in the football world. He has faced significant hurdles, including a small budget and inexperienced players, but remains optimistic about the future. Cook emphasizes the importance of hard work and resilience, stating that he has told his players to focus on their efforts rather than their limitations. His ultimate dream is to coach in the UK, particularly with Newcastle United, but for now, he is committed to establishing HKFC as a competitive force in local football. South China Morning Post Recent developments between Russia and North Korea, particularly in light of the ongoing Ukraine conflict, highlight the complexities of nuclear deterrence and its implications for global security. The concept of a balance of terror suggests that when rival nations possess nuclear capabilities, the mutual threat of destruction can foster cautious diplomacy. However, this theory has not addressed the root causes of conflicts, as evidenced by ongoing regional disputes that continue to destabilize areas like Nagorno-Karabakh. Historical perspectives emphasize that true peace requires addressing underlying issues such as justice and mutual respect, rather than relying solely on nuclear arsenals. As tensions escalate, it is crucial for nations like Russia and North Korea to reflect on their security concerns and seek resolutions that do not exacerbate existing conflicts. South China Morning Post, the New World Harbor Race 2024 has been cancelled due to the impending arrival of Super Typhoon Inching, with safety being the primary concern for organizers. The Hong Kong China Swimming Association announced the cancellation of the event, originally scheduled for November 10, along with the 11th Asian Open Water Swimming Championships 5 km race. Participants who had registered will receive refunds for their entry fees, reflecting the organization's commitment to ensuring safety amid unpredictable weather conditions. The president of the HKCSA expressed regret for any inconvenience caused, but emphasized that the health and safety of swimmers and staff remain the top priority. The association looks forward to welcoming participants back for next year's race, showcasing the resilience of the swimming community in the face of natural challenges. South China Morning Post reports that the Hong Kong Observatory is set to issue a number 3 warning signal between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Saturday as Super Typhoon Inching approaches southern China. Inching, which has escalated to Super Typhoon status, is projected to pass about 300 kilometers south of Hong Kong, causing strong winds and rough seas in the region. The observatory has advised the public to avoid the shoreline and water sports due to the hazardous conditions. Additionally, a carnival celebrating the upcoming national games has been cancelled in anticipation of the storm's impact, highlighting the typhoon's significant influence on local events. South China Morning Post reveals that InnoScience Technology, a Chinese manufacturer of gallium nitride on silicon, GANC, 
Power Chips, has been found guilty of infringing on a patent held by American company Efficient Power Conversion Corp., EPC, by the U.S. International Trade Commission, ITC. This ruling complicates InnoScience's plans for a public offering in Hong Kong and has led to a limited exclusion order on certain chips. While EPC celebrates this legal victory as a landmark case in GON technology, InnoScience intends to appeal the decision, claiming it has already adjusted its designs to comply with patent regulations. The ongoing legal disputes pose challenges for InnoScience as it seeks to expand its market presence. South China Morning Post highlights the logistical hurdles sports and music fans will face when traveling from Hong Kong's new Kai Tak Stadium to Tsim Sha Sui, which could take about an hour due to ongoing construction in the area. Despite the stadium's anticipated opening in early 2024, reporters found the journey fraught with challenges, including navigating around construction sites and limited public transport options. The Kai Tak Sports Park a massive development featuring multiple venues, is still surrounded by unfinished infrastructure, raising concerns about its capacity to handle large crowds during major events. Local lawmakers have expressed worries about the adequacy of public transport facilities, emphasizing the need for improved access and infrastructure to accommodate the influx of visitors expected for upcoming events. South China Morning Post reports that the debate between ketogenic and high-carbohydrate diets for endurance runners has taken a new turn, with recent studies suggesting that keto diets may not offer the performance benefits athletes hoped for. A comprehensive review published in Sports Health indicates that there are no significant advantages for aerobic performance associated with a keto diet, which consists of high-fat and low-carbohydrates. The International Society of Sports Nutrition warns that ultramarathon runners following a ketogenic diet may experience negative symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, and gastrointestinal discomfort. Experts like Andy Dubois and Vicky Sham emphasize that a high-carbohydrate diet, rich in protein, is essential for endurance athletes to sustain energy levels and recover effectively after intense workouts. In a different vein, the South China Morning Post introduces us to Leonardo DiCaprio's estranged stepbrother, Adam Farrar, whose life has taken a troubling path marked by addiction and legal troubles. Despite DiCaprio's close-knit family ties and his supportive nature towards relatives, Farrar's struggles with drugs and petty theft have led to a significant rift between the brothers. Farrar, who once shared a passion for acting with DiCaprio, has faced multiple arrests and has been unable to maintain a relationship with the Hollywood star. Their estrangement highlights the stark contrast between DiCaprio's successful career and Farrar's ongoing battles, leaving Farrar to navigate life as a television scene painter in a struggling Los Angeles neighborhood. Lastly, the South China Morning Post delves into the rising trend of pink watches, which have gained immense popularity following the Barbiecore phenomenon. Luxury brands like Chanel, Gucci, and Audemars Pichuet are embracing this vibrant hue, launching a variety of models featuring pink dials and straps. Notable figures such as Ryan Gosling and Idris Elba have been spotted sporting pink timepieces, further solidifying the trend's mainstream appeal. Brands are innovating with designs that incorporate gems and unique aesthetics, such as Carl F. Bucherer's exquisite Turbillion double peripheral and Piaget's Aura high jewelry watch. As the pink watch trend continues to flourish, it promises to captivate watch enthusiasts and fashion aficionados alike well into 2024 and beyond. South China Morning Post reports that Bryson DeChambeau, the U.S. Open champion known for his analytical approach to golf, has been linked romantically to college golfer Lilia Schneider. Schneider, who is believed to be around 10 years younger than DeChambeau, has made a name for herself in the golfing community, previously leading her high school team to a state championship and currently playing for Marion University. With a growing social media presence, she is being compared to the popular golf influencer, Paige Spironak. 
Schneider has shared her struggles with body image and recently underwent surgery for a medical condition, showcasing her resilience and determination in both her personal and professional life. In another article, the South China Morning Post delves into the life of Paul Pelosi, the husband of former Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who has faced significant challenges in recent years. After surviving a brutal hammer attack in 2022, which left him with severe injuries requiring extensive surgery, Paul has since been in the spotlight for various reasons, including a DUI conviction. The attack drew national attention, especially when Donald Trump made light of the situation during a rally, prompting Nancy Pelosi to label his comments as sick. Despite these hurdles, Paul Pelosi has built a successful career in venture capital, amassing a net worth of around $120 million, though his financial dealings have also raised eyebrows due to potential conflicts of interest stemming from his wife's political position. Lastly, the South China Morning Post introduces Jamila Sozada, a healthcare professional and reality TV star who recently made headlines for her relationship with rapper Lil Jon. As one of ten sisters from a Muslim-American family that fled Afghanistan, Jamila's life is a blend of cultural expectations and personal ambition. Her reality show, Secrets and Sisterhood, The Sozadas, explores the dynamics within her family, showcasing their struggles and triumphs. In addition to her television career, she has made significant strides in the healthcare industry, founding Drip Doctors and launching a fashion brand for healthcare professionals. Jamila's journey reflects her commitment to both her heritage and her professional aspirations, as she navigates motherhood and her burgeoning relationship with Lil Jon. Associated Press reports on a curious incident in South Carolina where 43 rhesus macaques, bred for medical research, escaped from the Alpha Genesis facility due to an employee's oversight. As the monkeys frolic near the compound, the CEO, Greg Westergaard, whimsically suggests they are on an adventure. Authorities are attempting to recapture the playful primates, who have been spotted exploring the outer fence and interacting with their companions inside. Despite concerns raised by local residents and experts about the potential risks of approaching the monkeys, officials assure the public that these animals are harmless and pose no health threat. The community, known for its light-hearted spirit, is taking the situation in stride, with locals even preparing bananas in hopes of luring the monkeys back. CBC covers an intriguing saga in the world of sports collectibles as a multi-million dollar box of unopened hockey cards, containing the coveted Wayne Gretzky rookie card, is set to be auctioned again after a failed transaction. Real estate agent Jack Arshawski initially won the auction for $3.72 million, but complications arose with the payment, leaving Heritage Auctions to relist the case. With an estimated value of around $3 million, the auction house is preparing for a new round of bidding, starting at $750,000. While Arshawski claims the funds may have disappeared in cyberspace, Heritage Auctions disputes this, stating no payment was ever received. The incident has raised eyebrows in the collector community, with speculation about potential costs and legal ramifications surrounding the failed deal. South China Morning Post brings excitement as the Macau Grand Prix returns, promising a thrilling spectacle of speed and skill on the racetrack. Since its inception in 1954, this prestigious event has attracted legendary drivers like Ayrton Senna and Lewis Hamilton. This year's four-day schedule features seven exhilarating races, including the FIAFR World Cup and the Macau GT Cup, with around 180 drivers from 35 countries vying for glory. Defending champions will face fierce competition, with notable names like Rafael Marciello and Peter Hickman aiming to hold on to their titles. The Grand Prix not only showcases established stars but also serves as a platform for emerging talents, ensuring that the spirit of motorsport continues to thrive in Macau. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 team. 
These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 dobriefcom Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Waking up to wonders, checking nature blunders, got our rockets flying while the oceans are sighing.